morning. I am in Savannah, Georgia. I came to drop off Dante at a summer program at a college. And while I waited for him, I uh, worked intensively on my course that is all about handling change and creating change in your life. So creating wanted change and handling unwanted change. So Dante is about to experience a big transition in his life, picking out college, committing to something that even if he doesn't do it for the rest of his life, it's going to take some time of his life, the, the energy and focus. And the most important thing is for him to have time and opportunity to connect with what it is that's really important to him, that makes him alive, that makes him joyful, that makes him, that, that taps into the very unique gifts that he's got. And in life, how many times do we do that? And yet we do things because why? To uh, sustain ourselves, but what is more sustainable than the passion, than, 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 than um, uh, making a living, creating a life, and using the very gifts, the unique set of gifts that you and I were given. I think that's where the whole, um, you know, you've been given everything you need comes from and comes into. One way to make space um, to do that is to meditate, to pray. Uh, one way is to take a pilgrimage or a trip or a vacation. It helps to make um, a physical change, a shift, so that you can see things from a different perspective and then open up the space for the inner, going deep, and for shifting your mind. In any kind of change, in any kind of transformation, you always have to make that mindset shift, turn things upside down, whether it's introducing gratitude into your life, more of gratitude, or just completely reconsidering how you view something. Savannah is full of these beautiful little town circles where people gather at night or in the, uh, the middle of the day when it's not super hot. And I think that's another way to kind of like switch, you know, your physical space from going from your house into a public space where you can connect with people and you get out of your usual, you out of your um, little box, little maybe even a comfort zone. And you give yourself an opportunity to experience something different, to experience or trigger a bigger change. And of course, in times of unwanted change, Times Square is a great place to go and connect with people and get supported. So yay for the squares and public spaces. Oh, very important. These squares actually have places to sit. I noticed in downtown they have like benches and little walls that are not, they don't have spikes on them, that people actually sit on them. What a brilliant idea. Thank you.